Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the jailbreak detection on the LG ThinQ app. So here's a problem. You've got a jailbroken phone, you've got the LG ThinQ app installed, you click on it, it momentarily loads up ThinQ, opens up the profile and then basically crashes back to the desktop. So here's a workaround. First thing to do is go into Cydia, go into Cydia Sources, click on Edit, and we're going to add a new source. In there, we're going to enter the repo address for Riley's repo, and I'll leave a, a link to the actual address in the description below. So let's go ahead and enter that. When you've entered the address, that's what it's going to look like, Riley's repo there at the top. So just go ahead and click on there, click on Tweaks. And the tweak we're looking for is Liberty Light Beta, which is that bottom one there. So just go ahead and click on that. Cut. I've already got it installed, so I don't need to install it, but there'll be an install button up there. Go ahead and install it on your iPhone. Once it's installed, um, go into iPhone settings. Once you're in settings, look for Liberty Light in your list of apps, which is that one there at the top. Make sure you enable the uh, Liberty Light by just pressing the uh, tabs. Then go into Block Jailbreak Detection. Go through the list until you find the LG ThinQ app. Once you find it, enable it. So now that we've enabled it, let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, so the moment of truth. Let's give it a try. LG ThinQ app. There's a profile. Doesn't crash back to the desktop. Jobs are good done. So there you go guys, that's how to bypass the jailbreak detection on the LG ThinQ app. Hope you like this video, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one.